Right, so my name's Colton Jackson. My project is called the Text Tree Plot. I don't have time to explain. So the <laughs> it, um, uh, I've been working on this for a while, so I'm gonna show you like what already existed and what I added the last four days. So I already had like this wide open space. You double click anywhere, you get a terminal emulator. And uh, this is inspired by a problem we had in class where like uh, Ben or Dan is like executing stuff on the screen and we're supposed to be squinting and watching the screen. I thought, why not have just a synchronous uh, terminal emulator? So anything I type in here that's valid JavaScript will be uh, interpreted as such. Da -da -da, my favorite power. Um, and that also has the context hooked up to this. So whatever you type this, it'll affect like the terminal that you're in. So I can do this.style.width equals 800 pixels, and it will apply that style. Um, so that existed. You could do a bunch of those. Um, it's got stuff where you can like look at the file system, but that's, that already existed. The thing I added the past four days was that you could um, shift, click, and drag to like move the whole thing around. And you could now do um, like repolit stuff. So that was what I really wanted to get down to. So I create, create is a keyword that I have a custom function for, create code mirror. I'm using an amazing library called code mirror um, that actually a lot of editors are based off of. And I get a text editor. Uh, if you are connect, if, if, yeah, I'll get back, we'll play with it later. But if you are connected to the same URL, then these are synchronized, so we can type together. Um, and so that's a collaborative editor. Um, and if I click on this R, it'll actually hoist that as JavaScript. So if I say alert, that's not how that works. And then hit R. It, it runs that JavaScript. If I have expressions in here, like uh, name a function that takes da, 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 return x times 2. So that's a function I just defined. I hit run, and now I can use that. So the REPL it stuff works, and this is uh, like it's on GitHub. You can clone it. You can uh, run it locally. I always thought it was absurd that we were like going to a website to run JavaScript. Um, your computer can do it on its own. So, okay, the coolest part that I figured out this weekend is I can, I wrote a constructor for a tag function. So I can do create tag um, header, and it produces this object that's so far empty. I can get rid of all some of this stuff. And I can edit this tag. Um, and it, it, so this, what this does when I hit that A, it grabs the inner HTML, puts it as my start text, and every time I change the contents of this editor, it's gonna take the contents of the editor and assign it to the inner HTML. Um, so I can say hello. Oh, but I did it outside of the H tag, so. Yeah, there. Um, so it's really crazy how well Chrome like takes botched HTML and like figures it out. Um, so as soon as I start typing like a header, um, it'll do that. Uh, you can also do style tags, which is, I learned this weekend, is just a thing that you can edit all the time. So if I create a style tag, now there's a style tag on the page, and I can say body background uh, pink. And that CSS updates like in real time. It's really neat. Um, what else do I want to show you? I mean, you can like create circles if you want. Um, and okay, I'm gonna jump back. Oh yeah, the cool thing is like people were on that homepage and like clicking on things and messing things around. Um, so I'm using sockets and I am implemented the socket rooms to match off of the URL. So if I, um, if I go back to that blank page and if other people are on that blank page, if you refresh so yours is blank too, other people can add stuff and do JavaScript um, and, and mess around with each other. Um, I'm gonna, I'll make my own, fine. Create, tag, div. Uh, okay, the buttons, the buttons don't sync yet. So I'm gonna click A, and you also have to click A. But once you click A, then you can type in here. And then anything can happen. Um, and while that's happening, I'm gonna grab root two, don't touch root two. And, <laughs> um, fine. <laughs> Oh, all of my, the, all my windows are gonna say boom now, thanks. <laughs> um, cool, right. Um, is that, oh, and then the final thing I'll show you while we're here is, oh, I don't know where I was. 
Uh, I'll show you somewhere else then. Here's fine. Yeah, that's where I was. All kinds of things. So on any terminal, I can rename it. Um, and then when I use the keyword save, it does this crazy thing where it takes the name of the terminal it's in and, um, and then does document.documentElement.innerHTML, grabs the entire HTML as a string, posts that to the server, saves it to a file, uh, and then hits the URL. So if you're connected, you probably had your URL changed, hopefully. So now that is an HTML string that you can push somewhere else and it will load that inner HTML, it'll reattach all the event listeners, it'll put me in the same socket room so I'm still synchronized, even though I've changed where I am. Yeah, okay, that, that about does it.